Hey guys, it's Eric. Welcome back to the channel. This is Tour of Watopia Stage 1. And as you can tell, as I'm just now getting on the bike and everyone's already taken off, I am a little ways behind. I uh, did some serious scrambling to get all, all of my things in order, get all my ducks in a row, and then get on the bike. So yeah, a little delayed start. Um, luckily, with Tour of Watopia, some people are doing it just to do it for the double experience points and whatever else. Um, I, however, am doing it more so for the race aspect. So thank you to all those people who are doing it for the experience points. I'm going to take advantage of your draft and this massive train that is before me and get as far up to the front group as I can. I'm um, looking at like my position like 550th out of 600 some. Uh, so I'm just going to try to work my way up without burning a match necessarily. So um, I'll be honest, I've been looking forward to this event, this tour, I should say, uh, for about a week or so now, and I'm so excited for it, but unfortunately, my WHOOP recovery score is so low. Take a look at this, 38% recovery. Yeah, I did a pretty hard workout um, the day before. Uh, I thought I was going to be well recovered and well rested. I thought I got a good night's sleep. Nope. 38%. So I'm dragging. And you know, this is later in the evening. It doesn't help that I didn't have any sort of warm up and I just jump right into it. So I'm keeping the power pretty consistent or as consistent as I can. And I'm just trying to march my way up to the front group. Initially looking forward to this event as a whole. I wanted to start out very strong. I wanted to be well warmed up. Um, that's not the case at all for this whatsoever so um i'm trying to get up to the front group as much as i can again i don't want to burn a match too early on um i got it to full 24 miles i'm anticipating a little over an hour for this event and, and i know it's going to be 1500 feet of elevation gain as well so um i'm working my way up towards the front really putting some power down now um on, on a big incline and and then I wanted to settle into a group that was just moving and then ideally take them all the way to the end. So the late start um, is very delayed with that, warming up very delayed with that. And now sorting through this giant crowd, trying to move up, trying to put some power down, trying to find a group that is working and that's moving and that's going to be able to carry me to the end. So I just push through, look at this mountain of red that I've just done. Jeez, oh man, nothing like no warm up and not burning a match. So I'm on this 8% grade or whatever. And now I start to settle in. I'm thinking, okay, 150, 140s, I can settle in with that. And then I'll, you know, Lord willing, work my way up from here. I knew that there was going to be three fairly sizable climbs. We're looking at the, the Zwift KOM, Titans Grove KOM, and uh, Volcano KOM as well. So this is the three little sisters on the iconic route. Um, very iconic as well. It's, it's Watopia. I think everyone's done this at least a thousand times if you're a, if you're a typical, usual Zwifter. So yeah, that's the plan for today, and things are already not going to plan. But because I started out so late, I'm on the Zwift KOM. And I'm making real good time. And I would like to owe that to me starting so behind and playing catch up with everyone. So uh, I'm, I'm in coming up on the end of this first KOM. Wow. In the first four minutes, nonetheless. First mile and a half, nonetheless. And I'm heading for a, a PR. My previous record was two minutes and 39 seconds. Just now I got in two minutes and... 13 seconds. So yeah, cue those confetti cannons, Zwift.
the start of the Titans Grove KOM. Average gradient of 2.2%, 1.6 miles long. Complete with dinosaurs roaming about. How exciting. I oftentimes do the, the Zwift pace partner things, is like these dumb virtual group rides. Um, I oftentimes ride with the C category, or I was, and it would be this route right here. So I've done this a zillion times at least, or that's what it feels like, and always kind of catches me off guard. Um, I think it's just the length of this this segment, really. It's not ultra steep. I mean, it's an average of just over 2%. That's not too bad. Um, it's just always a little bit longer than I anticipate. So I have this power up, I have the feather that's going to help me climb. The nice thing is during the tour of Watopia, the power ups last twice as long. So I use mine and then it wears off. And then I realized I used it too early, whatever. So I'm off the front by a hair with a couple other stragglers who are off the front. Um, and then everybody catches me. This is predictable. So yeah, I'm just cruising away. 250 watt average look at my power down at the bottom like it got these mountains of red with the with the rolling terrain I always try to time it out and like really push it on the uphill and then just coast on the downhill and then repeat a thousand times as you can as you can see so uh the the percent the gradient excuse me gets a little bit lower it evens out it goes back up um in a more flowing way on this on this KOM. The field's getting a lot more strung out. Look how look how far ahead those guys are. All the glows of the Tron bikes. Yeah, not me. I'm duking things out on a Trek Madone over here, so I'm grinding, I'm grinding, I'm grinding. It wasn't that bad. But I mean 177 heart rate, like that's plenty high for me. So then it does level out. Um here's the arch. Let's see. Do I get a PR? I do. Yay me. A time of 4 minutes and 33 seconds. Hooray. So then I get this other um, power up. I get the aero boost. And I have to use it on the downhill. Someone told me I have to have my trainer on the max difficulty, which I have for the last week or so. And they said it was going to help on the uphill and the downhill. It's going to like make it the, the average power a lot more consistent on the on the climbs which I have noticed that has really helped. It's I'm not spinning out as much, so that's greatly appreciated. Thank you to the one who reached out to me. Um, and on the downhills, ooh, it's not exactly working as I would have liked to. Everyone's like, oh yeah, you just need to do a soft pedal. Yeah, not me. I weigh 166 pounds. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. So I have to like push decently hard on the descents. And as you can tell, this huge group of cyclists passes me, so I'd step on it, meet up with them, and now we're just cruising, which is good, and I just hang in with these guys. For the and that begins and that brings us to the volcano kom if there's one i'm really not looking forward to in this entire ride it's for sure the volcano kom honestly i've only done this maybe two or three times and 
I've never enjoyed it for whatever reason. I don't know, 3.2% average. Also, it's just under two and a half miles long. It's like, that's pretty long. And I don't know, I can always start with a group. I can always hang with a group for a little bit. But as you'll see in about 30 seconds, I just get dropped. Like already, you can kind of tell I'm going backwards. I don't know. I'm just not the best climber, I guess. Um, and also, you know, I'm going to blame sitting on a trainer for so long because when you ride outside, you're standing up, you shift your weight, you turn, you steer, everything. I I get so uncomfortable on a trainer indoors. Maybe it's the seat. Maybe I need a slight like saddle adjustment. I'm not quite sure, but I just get so uncomfortable. If you watch my actual person my literal self riding the bike, you'll see my form is all over the place. And that's because I'm so uncomfortable. Okay, so right there, I'm talking to my wife or whatever, but I'm just so uncomfortable. So then I'll stand up, I'll try to sprint and catch this group here, try to stay with them. But as these climbs go, I put my forearms on the bar, I, I lean down, I try to shift my weight, I try to do anything to get into some sort of new, more comfortable position. Usually it doesn't work, but I'm always trying new things. So whatever. Surprisingly, I, I was able to catch up with this group and hang with them um, while it was a little bit more flat. And then the it pitches upwards yet again. So now we're at 5%. And we're also, I, I guess this is like a, a gravel terrain. So I'm not sure how the Madone is going to, uh, how the Madone's going to fare on that, especially with the, I think I have the Zip 808s on it. No, I have the Kdex. I have the Kdex wheels on. Maybe I'll buy some sweet new wheels or something with all my XP points that I'm getting twice as fast. See, look, this the field is super strung out right here. The, there's already groups coming down the hill. I'm so jealous of them. 42 minutes into this entire ride. Ugh. So I just keep pushing. I'm trying my best. I don't want to I don't want to lose this group entirely. But, uh, you know, the inevitable is going to happen. So I just keep going. You know, I try to take little breaks when I can. You know, I put in some digs here and there. It's like little intervals. You can see this, this jagged um, power that I'm doing at the bottom. And there's times where I, I put my head down and, and the power just goes so low. And then I try to bring it back up. So this is probably like the the group that was behind us that's now passing me trying to stay on with one or two of them but in other news i'm in 144th place it's about where i where i settled in when i very when i first started this entire ride late again let me remind you so i don't know mentally i'm i'm doing all right i'm taking some gels so i'm i'm mentally i'm there i'm with it um but because i have a 38% recovery for the day uh yeah, I'm I'm feeling it physically at this point in the ride. And again, being on a 2.3 mile segment that's all uphill, I'm I'm pretty toasty right now. So I really want to be done with this. And it pitches up to 10%. It's that dark red, that angry looking 10%. But alas, here's the top. Let's see how I do. Do I get a PR? Yay, I do, with a time of 8 minutes and 38 seconds, for what it's worth. I don't really know what exactly to compare that to. Oh, my, my previous times were like 9 minutes and something. So, I go through the arch, I get the drafting boost. Again, I use that on this descent to try to stay with these guys. Um, not exactly doing a soft pedal. When you're doing 300 watts on the descent... I don't consider that a soft pedal. So look at this. Again, I do. I crank it up to 400 watts to stay with these guys, which I do because I. this is now the, part, the point where I'm like, okay, I need to pick a group. That was the third climb out of the three, and I want to finish with them. I want to finish quick. I want this to be over with. Not only that, I'm like, okay, that was the last climb. There's three and a half miles left. Let's try to do this thing in sub one hour. Which again, it's only um, just under 24 miles. I should be able to do that. I, I initially anticipated being about an hour and a half and even then doing it five, 10 minutes faster than that. 
So now I'm thinking, okay, let's get this done within the next 10 minutes. So we do this descent. I stay with this group and we hammer it out. sprint in inside a few hundred feet i give it what i can wasn't much nice solid mid-pack finish actually surprisingly though i get 107th out of 438 um applicable contestants i believe so time of 56 minutes 38 seconds average 3.2 watts per kilos with an average power of 242 so there's my day strain uh, for this activity of 17.4 reminder i had a 38 percent recovery so i really dug in for this one but uh hey guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned stage two is coming up i'll catch you in the next one